Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Adam. And welcome to Behind the Box. All right, guys, we are back with another Behind the Box for July 2016. And this month's theme was actually galactic. Yeah! So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and show you what we put in the box and give you a little explanation about why those things are in the box. So let's do it. So right on top, when you open your BAM box, you're gonna see yeah, BAM pins. Yeah, BAM pins. So these are actually all the pins. We wanted to show you all of yep. them. Um, so, I mean, they were done by Nick Kikosa. He's yep. back. He's he, back, because he did the uh, um, chump for us. He did the truffle shuffle. Truffle shuffle, yes. And that was awesome. So so awesome. Uh, we brought Nick back, and we did four different pins here. Um, well, two with variations, of course. So yep. we did Groot and Rocket. And if you ah. take a look at these, it says True, True Love. Love. And they're awesome. They are so well done in kind of like a flashy tattoo style. You yeah. Know? Um, and that's why they're really neat. So. I, I love them. When I, when I talked to Nick this month, I, I made sure, I said, I, you know, I wanted to try to do a pin set that, I'll make sure I get them right for the camera, that, that is, that's looking at each other, kind of like this, gazing into each other's eyes. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what, what, what a better, I want, knew we wanted to do Guardians of the Galaxy, ultimate love story right here, Absolutely. right? Like, total, total, total bromance. So, oh, yeah. Um, and then I, I really wanted to see um, the, just the, the, the old old school like tattoo style come across mm -hmm. uh, and he just nailed it like just absolutely nailed it so you guys had said we love Nick we love those pins we love those pins so we want to make sure that we brought Nick back uh, for the galactic theme and then the I, I love the black and gold ones yeah, I know a lot of people really go cool. I really love the color the collectability of the black and gold gets me every single time mm -hmm. it just it just really pops especially um, rockets just I know. And, oh, just looks it so looks good so awesome yeah so much detail in those little pieces. Yeah, too. I know. Like, yeah, it's, it's they're really super crazy. detailed that you can really see that you put a lot of love into this series. Yes. So it's and, awesome. And for the crazy box, which um, which is going to be coming out here real soon, really excited. We have a new pin designer mm -hmm. that I have been trying to get on board for a while, and she is on board now. Nice. And it's going to be a pretty fun surprise what happens. So it's something that we haven't done with the pins next month. Yeah, you guys will see. Stay yeah. tuned. Um, so after you get your pins on top of the box here, of course you crack open your van box and we have all of your goodness in here. Whoa. So uh, let's see, you want to do this first? Yes. That's pretty cool. That is. So right here we have a costume card from Alien Resurrection. Um, do you want to explain what this is? And yeah, absolutely. So. Um, when, when we first started Bandbox, one of the things that, that we sat down and, and did was I, I said I, I wanted to list out a lot of the different things for me that would make Bandbox different. I didn't want to just start another subscription box that was, it was again, there's a lot of people who are doing it really well uh, that, that, that are throwing mm -hmm. in uh, the Funkos and the t-shirts. Those guys are doing it great. We needed to be different and we wanted to be something that was geared more towards collectors. My brother growing up owned a card shop. Oh. And one of my very favorite things uh, to do was after school I would go over to the card shop and we would we would have we would break packs or bust packs, right? So we'd sit there and we'd buy a pack of upper decks and we'd just sit there and, and bust through them all. And as the as the, the card industry kind of peaked and then into like the late 80s and then just totally bottomed out, there's been this this like reemergence mm -hmm. and part of it has been the these breaker boxes that are going on, and that's one of the philosophies behind BAM box is that that it's the idea of the breaker box, right? That, that when you open up a, a card box now, that you have autographs, you have relic cards, you have costume cards, and that's the, and you have these, these limited edition uh, cards, and that's what makes it so exciting is because some of the regular stuff that you're getting, it, it, okay, anybody can get that. You can walk into a store, you can get that, it's really easy to get, yeah. but what about the stuff that's not easy to get, the stuff that's actually unique, and that's what makes people really excited about the boxes. And so I wanted to bring that two BAM boxes, mm -hmm. a philosophy, but also we did our very first costume card. And so we got a hold of one of the, the jackets that was used in Alien Resurrection, and we did our very own costume card. So in, in the card industry, what, what they're often referred to as relic cards or costume cards, you've seen them from Big Bang Theory, from Star Trek, from Dexter, and they're just pieces of the costume that are put into these cards that are a limited run, a limited edition run, just like this is. And so it's just a cool collectible, uh, and often they obviously they just come into a, in a card pack, 
really important for me was that we we put it into mm -hmm. the protective case so that you could immediately display it and, it, and it and it holds the value of it right there. But every one of these has oh, yeah. a different piece of the wardrobe. A lot of them that we've seen uh, show the green, but there are there's there's pieces of the collar, there's pieces of the patches mm -hmm. that that I've seen people have sent in. Jeez. God, I got a patch. It looks so awesome. Mm -hmm. So there de definitely differences. A lot of the ones we see are green, but we use the entire jacket, cut the whole thing up, mm -hmm. uh, and put it into these cards for Alien Resurrection. Again, just something different, unique, that you're not seeing in any other subscription box that's, a, a, for a collector, really exciting. Exactly, and you, like you just said, you can display it right away, like yep. I took mine, put it right on my shelf, and it stands there, yeah. right next to my Xenomorph stuff. So, nice. I mean, it kind of ties together with that, because I like Alien, Absolutely. but you can display it right away. Yeah, so and, and so it just cool goes, point. slots right into the collection, mm -hmm. to just to, to, to build the collection and diversify it, which is, is really fun. So, Absolutely. Alien Resurrection, authentic wardrobe card, uh, this month, which I, I was excited about. Okay, guys, so the next thing in the BAM box was actually Mars Space Sand. Bah, bah. So it's uh, kind of goofy, kind of pink, and do uh, you want to explain what this is? Because some people don't know what it is. Yeah, so a lot of people did uh, in some of the unboxing videos that we saw, actually dumped it into some water, and, and it's I'm not going to try to pronounce the word mm. that it is. Yeah, I almost just tried to pronounce the word. I'm not going to try to pronounce yeah, the word. <laughs> uh, it's, it's waterproof. Basically, uh, NASA actually uses this sand uh, to, to do a lot of different experiments on. So this is, this is the, the closest thing that we have that resembles the sand that's on Mars. And so it completely repels water. So you dump it into water, mm -hmm. and you can make these different shapes and clump it together. And then when you pull it out, it's completely dry, right? Mm -hmm. Just just complete powder. So um, we thought, hey, Space, Mars, everything made sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we got one of these in every box. And some of the videos that we've seen from you guys uh, actually uh, um, uh, playing with it and putting it into water and displaying it were really, really, really cool to watch. So this is the Mars Space Sand. Okay, guys, so we had something for all you Trekkies out there this Come month. Come on, we, it's we got galactic. your back. It's, it's got to be mixed in there. So we actually went ahead and got next generation uh, pin set with ranking pips here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is pretty cool, especially if you're into Star Trek Next Generation, because you can actually put this on, yes. display the Air Trekkie, or put your ranking pips on. I know. It's pretty cool, man. The quality is awesome. The, the quality is incredible. That was really important. So, so Chris, who's another one of the owners of the Bam Box, is a die-hard Trekkie. I mean, I'm talking from way back... Uh, you know, conventions, dressed up, didn't care what other kids thought, Trekkie. Like, just amazing and awesome. Mm -hmm. And so he was really excited about this. And there's a couple things that when we started looking at some of the different ones, a lot of them are just really cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, and he wanted at least cosplay quality, that you could put this on and it had a really good quality to it. And so it does. And it comes in a great display case, because even just display looks really cool. But the fact that this would, would have, would actually be cosplay quality mm -hmm. uh, to be able to wear. And this was my favorite. Because the Trekkies who, who, all of you who wore this that we saw any kind of video or picture on, I, I love that whenever they put the, the ranking pips on, like nobody went like halfway. No. You, you went the whole thing. All, all, all the way. Yeah, through. you went all the way. Nobody was like, I'm not I'm really there. there. I want all of them. I want all of them. Mm -hmm. So that was really awesome to, to see. So um, again, just a really nice set. For a lot of people, they just kept it in the collector's case and, mm -hmm. and said, hey, I'm just going to display it. Other people are like, oh, I, I'm putting this thing on. So uh, really fun for, for all of you Trekkies out there to be able to get something next generation in the box for you guys. So we did something for the Trekkies, and of course for Star Wars fans, Got it. we did something else. Yes. Um, so we did these silhouette statues this month for Mr. Smitty Todd himself, yes. who's an awesome, awesome artist. Um, and so what we did here was we did a Yoda yep. and a Boba Fett. Yes. And these things are awesome because you can just display them right away. Yeah. And that's it. It's just that simple. You see the silhouette of the character and you can just put it on your shelf or right in your collection. Yeah. And it, I loved seeing a lot of the pictures that came in from you guys because there were some people who uh, they were they actually put this uh, in front of light. And so it was oh, reflecting up clever. on the wall. And I thought, that's it exactly. Like that's the whole the idea behind a silhouette, mm -hmm. right? We wanted to give something uh, that that was substantial, at least in size. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to make sure, we, we knew we were working with Smitty Tut again, which was really exciting. Uh, we just absolutely love Matt. Uh, and so we wanted to make sure that uh, that we had that metal quality that you guys have, have come to see mm -hmm. in some of our boxes from him. Uh, he's the one who did the Batarang and then also the Live Long and Prosper. Um, he, did, he did the Tribute sign. This uh, was just really cool because there was a couple things that we knew we wanted. We knew that, number one, right out of the box that you'd be able to, like you said, set it yeah, up and it's, it. and it's just displayed. Yeah, it's perfect. Whether you're at work, whether it's in your collection. And we also knew that we wanted to have, if, if you wanted to go beyond that, that it would fit within either shooting some light to it mm -hmm. or, or doing some things. Different people have used it as a, as a bookend. 
brilliant idea and so and we want to make he did like the green powder coat on it so it's just it's going to last it's going to it last forever i mean these things are just real heavy duty um and really excited and we had a really fun one up this oh yeah on this one so the one up of course is mr darth vader himself oh yeah and uh this one's pretty rad guys so same thing it just stands right there it displays right yeah. away um i didn't even think about putting light behind it even though it's a silhouette yeah yeah yeah. so now i'm gonna go home and do that yeah because that's awesome <laughs> yeah it's and, and we the vader we went up we knew we wanted to make it a bit bigger mm -hmm. um and and the vader again the, the, some of the ones that i've seen you guys do in your pictures with the light up on it it's really great there was one one guy who I, I wish I knew who it was. Hopefully he sees this video as he's getting a shout out right now. Uh, he did it where he he put Vader here and he mm -hmm. took a picture pretty far back and he was like down on his knee, like as if Vader was knighting him. That's awesome. It was j just some of the stuff you guys did I thought was really creative. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some people put pictures where they kind of hid uh, some of the uh, either Yoda or Boba Fett in the background and like you know when you see it and, and just yeah. that kind of stuff. We love you guys because it's fun. It's, it is fun and it's creative and you guys are enjoying this and you guys are thinking, uh, you know, I'm not just displaying this thing, like I'm just putting it up and like, eh. Mm -hmm. we, we love watching that stuff, so please do, keep yeah. doing it. Um, yeah, and so these were the, the Smitty Tut. Uh, these, were, these were designed exclusively for us uh, at Bandbox. So we got Vader, Boba Fett, and Yoda, Yoda this month, which were I really, really cool. I think all three characters are pretty rad, yes. too. Yes, 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 yes. So this month, we did a couple different prints for you guys. Yeah, this was new. This was definitely new. We yep. did two different prints this month with two different variants on yep. those. So it was pretty fun to do, and we got some really amazing artists behind it. Yeah. Uh, so for the first one here, we got Hell Jordan and Sinestro yeah. from artist Blake Hendrickson. Yes. Um, and this is an awesome piece, because yeah, if yeah, you yeah. love Green Lantern or anything Jeff Johns touched back in the day with yes. Green Lantern, you know how badass this thing yes, is. Yes, absolutely. And, and his, his style is just so great. His use of lighting is one of the things that I really love about Blake Hendrickson. And then he goes by uh, Pink Havoc. And just so you guys know, uh, we, we're, anybody who is now part of the band box and, and that they've either done art or they've done design or like Smitty's done these, we're gonna start putting the links to their websites and their social media stuff down below in the so, description, in the description yeah. so you guys can check them out uh, because we what we want is someone to go i really love that artist i want to get a commission piece from them because again this is about building a community of people going hey i really dig what you're into i really dig your style you know can, can you do something like this we want those artists to continue on and so that's really important to us so you guys check out uh, and show them some love as well and, and this was great so when, when we first uh, sat down blake and i and started talking through this uh, this, this is where I knew I said, hey, we need a variant. And he's like, oh, I have the, ex the ex I, I know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I know what I want to do for, for the variant. And when he sent the variant over, I, I, I freaked out a bit. Yeah, this is awesome. Red Lantern. Red Lantern. With, just with just blood coming <laughs> off. I mean, like he, like he's just been, there's an ass whooping that's taking place. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I love it. Again, him and Sinestro, there are a few different poses that, that they, he initially did and said, hey, you know which direction you think we should go? I love them, the idea of them being up in space. Yeah. Like facing off with, with you can just kind of slowly see the earth below mm -hmm. them. Perfect, just absolutely perfect. But this Red Lantern, and so these are out of 250, so these are super limited. We've seen, if you guys uh, are, are haven't already, you want to definitely go to thebandbox.com slash community. We put a little card in everybody's box, uh, it says straight out of Bandbox. That's the trading community. We see, we're seeing a lot of people going, oh, I really wish I would have gotten this. And so these things are, are, are hot commodities that people are trading for right now. And you want to make sure that you get in on that. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to trade, guys. I'm actually yeah. going to be trading that, my Hell Jordan yeah, you are, for yeah. a pin. So yeah. <laughs> really wanted that rocket pin. So I'll be trading someone from the community pretty soon here. Yeah, and so this is awesome. So this is Blake, but we had two artists. Oh, yes. Two artists this month. So this month, we also had Logan Pack on board. And yeah. did this awesome Thanos print. Oh, yeah. And uh, it just it's so mean, dude. <laughs> It's, just, it's the best way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the Infinity Gauntlet, and mm -hmm. he looks so tough right there. Um, I it, so I, cool. I I love this. Mm -hmm. Logan Pack is is hands down one of my absolute favorite artists. If you Super if you look talented. behind my desk, I've got custom Logan Pack pieces up. Uh, I've got a ton of Logan Pack pieces up. I've got some of them that have uh, that he's that he's uh, done inscriptions on, and he's done uh, sketches on the actual art itself. Mm -hmm. I'm just a huge, huge, huge fan, and so I was really excited that we're able to start bringing him into the band box and <clears throat> looking at different ways how we can use him again in the future, just because his style is just so awesome. different, so unique. So. Yeah. Uh, but he's incredible, and again, we'll have his uh, his links uh, and his social stuff down in the description below. But again, even the variant, I, mm -hmm. so the variant idea, we went a couple different ways, Damn and I, I love where it, where it ended up. Mm -hmm. This is uh, so cool. So it's kind of like grayscale, but all you see is the uh, the gems themselves. And yes, like, they are so vibrant on that background. Yeah. of Thanos. Of course. Yeah. So. Uh, 
I love this print. It, I think this is one of the coolest things that we've done so far. Um, yeah, it's, I, it's really pretty. I, I do too. I totally do. And we said great scale. So this is again numbered out of 250. He changed up the uh, the actual ink that he's signing in. So he did a, like a, a gold copper ink here. Um, and yeah, and so this is this one right here is happens to be number 74 out of 250 that we pulled for the master box. Um, but yeah, really excited for Logan Pack. I mean, you guys, this is just you definitely want to check out both of these artists. Mm -hmm. uh, but this Thanos. It got me all kinds of, so, so as this was going on, also at, over at San Diego Comic Con, which Matt was at, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was been two weeks ago Two weeks now? ago, yeah. Um, you, st you saw the, the trailer, the trailer drop. And so as seeing Thanos turn around I, with the Infinity Gauntlet on, <laughs> I, I, I lost it, man. And then, and then this coming out at the same time, I'm like, Perfect timing, yeah. just cannot wait. Mm -hmm. Can't even wait to see him on screen is going to be incredible. He's going to be a menace, guys. Yeah. They, oh, they did wait. such a good job with the character yeah. design and everything. Looks yeah. Awesome. Love it. All right, Logan Pack. Yeah, Logan Pack and Blake Hendrickson. Please check them out. They're yep. both amazing artists. Okay, guys, so this month we did something kind of different. We did an instant winner card. Yes. And with the instant winner cards, you were able to get something really, really cool that was signed. Yes. And is nerdy, of course. Yes, so, of course. So check this out. These are some of the things that you could have possibly won if you did an instant winner. We had a signed Green Lantern. Yeah, we got Green Lantern. We got Infinity Wars. We did. I grabbed a couple here for the for the Master Box. We had Superman. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of the other ones that we had, but. So we've, we've done an instant winner from the get-go, like obviously Ralph Macchio signed uh, 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 photographs last month where we did an instant winner for everybody. But now, we, like you said, we got the instant winner card. Mm -hmm. So now you actually see that card and you know, hey, I'm an instant winner. And anything that, it, that you are an instant winner for is going to have, uh, it's going to be really well documented what that is. And I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some spoiler, a little, little, little spoiler alert for the crazy box. The instant winner for this <laughs> one is incredible. Like. Incredible! It's going to be a one of one. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that, and it is not one of the sketches or, or or anything that we've done before. You haven't seen this before. The instant winner is going to be a one of one, and uh, we have really, if you, depending on when you're watching this, there's a a a pretty crazy spoiler that's coming for this next month's box that we're, we've been really hush hush about. Mm -hmm. It will sell out, and you want to make sure that you get in on it. Absolutely, trust us. Uh, and so, and so, we're going to be doing some fun things with one ups and everything this month. So, and, and, we'll, and we'll let you guys know what that's like. But this was a great one. We people got oh, some, this, just yeah. some great, some of the older Green Lanterns. Infinity War. Infinity Come on, War, this, is, yeah. this is an awesome piece. Oh guys. yeah, awesome book. And then. I saw a lot of people on Instagram and Twitter posting that they got their instant wins and they were so stoked. Oh about yeah, it. absolutely. I mean, I'd be excited to just open yeah. a box and be like, "Well, that's a signed comic." So. Yeah, yeah, and, and 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 we get to work with so many of these artists and these creators, and so these mm -hmm. the inkers, the pencilers. I mean, it's it's just absolutely nuts. So it's fun for us to be able to to as we work with these guys, be able to then send this stuff to you guys because that that's the whole point of the band box, right? Is that you, you when you open this thing up, you're like, "This is just." It's for collectors. Mm -hmm. That's what this box is about. So, guys, thank you so much. This has been the Galactic Box. Mm -hmm. We've got Crazy coming up next. Month, yeah. You want to go check it out. If you guys aren't following us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram, you definitely want to. Facebook, we're, we're at, at The Band Box uh, on Facebook, and then at The Band Box, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes, sir. You definitely want to go check us out because we're definitely putting things out there as stuff is happening. Uh, for anybody who's watching who's in the, the Salt Lake City area, we will be at Salt Lake Comic Con coming at the uh, at, right at the beginning of September. So you want to see us out there. We have some really fun, exciting things for you guys there. And until next time, keep collecting.